Brian Moritz, and this performance is called They Were the Ocean. You may notice it's the first line of the piece, <laughs> which tells you something about how I title things. Like Windows, and title it like Microsoft Office titles your documents. <laughs> Sexy, thanks, Anne. <laughs> this is called It's Tuesday. Um, it was a, this is another story. These are stories. It was Tuesday. Work was canceled. The afternoon sun pushed its way through the transom. The silence inside seemed to burst through the ceiling. The absence of sound, the vacuous feeling. By 4.35, she walked out of the doorway. She took a shortcut through the now abandoned causeway. The birds weren't singing. The cars were all silent. The air was vacant, hot, heavy, and violent. She wasn't an island. She wasn't alone. She had all of the world at the touch of a phone. And Cynthia's there, and Gerald is home, and Manny and Lisa and Cheryl are home, and Edith is home. No one was out with the police and the army patrolling about. She walked down pathways that coyotes made, but the dogs were all dead or neutered or spayed. She got down low, she hid in a hedge, the army was patrolling from up high on the ledge. They stayed for an hour. They scoured the ground. But soon the gray sun in the sky would go down. And when the darkness crawled over the earth, the light couldn't catch on her Vanta black shirt. She was finding an oasis. She had friends. A group had made an old target mark their home, and Cynthia was there, and Gerald was there, and Manny and Lisa and Cheryl were there, and Edith was there. The door wasn't locked. She went to the false display case and knocked, but nobody answered, so she knocked once more. She pulled at the handle. She pounded the door. And she turned around, away from their cell, toward the broken moonlight and the moldy smell. She walked down the aisles, stripped bare in the store, and over broken fluorescent tubes lying dead on the floor. Then she halted a minute. She heard a faint sound. She held her breath, and her heart slowed down. She moved like a leopard, stalking its pray and she saw the open escape hatch where she realized that it had gotten away and Cynthia was dead and Gerald was dead and Manny and Lisa and Cheryl were dead but Edith was there gasping tight for her breath she was bleeding and pale and close to her death she looked at Edith whose face became bright. She saw her old friend in the dark of the night. She opened her mouth but could only cough up blood, which mixed with the tile and mastic and mud. But from her brown iron puddle, it seemed she awoke. She looked to her oldest friend and finally spoke. Um, Manny and Cheryl were out getting flowers. We started to worry after about two hours, but uh, Lisa uh, assured uh. us that that nothing was wrong. We all know that the two of them often stayed outside for far too long, but Cynthia was worried, and Gerald was worried. Lisa thought Manny and Cheryl would be back in a hurry, and I sat still, unsure what to do. Without the party would start no sooner than two. 
and then Edith looked up. Her friend wasn't sobbing, and she realized that her left leg had finally stopped throbbing. She said, they both came in and said to lie low that the army was here and that somehow they must know because they weren't seen. The army arrived with tanks, helicopters, and guns outside. And we came up with a plan. We would hide in the hatch. It would take them months to discover even the latch. But in just 20 minutes after they arrived and came in, they found us all here. And they did us in. First Cynthia died, then Gerald was next, and then Manny and Lisa and Cheryl were dead, and then I, I was shot. But we were so careful. We knew all the risks. We knew to be fearful. Then Edith looked up, and fear came onto her face. She said, Somebody we know must have told them of this place, but the only other person oh, oh, oh. who knew we were here besides the five other dead were... Oh, oh, but oh, Edith's oh. face froze in fear. It was me, oh, oh, said her oh. friend, who came all the way there to make sure that all of them oh, oh. were out of her hair. Oh, oh, oh. She didn't count on oh, Edith, oh, oh. but in just a moment more, her shocked oh, and heartbroken oh, oh. body was cold on the floor. She busted the display case. She took what she could. She took all of the cans. And she took all of the wood. And Cynthia was gone. And Gerald was gone. And Manny and Lisa and Cheryl were gone. And Edith was gone. She walked out of the Target. And she made her way south toward the hidden market. There were tunnels from there, from long ago, before the animals died, before the ash and the snow. She made her way with a torch that she took from Cynthia's room. It was dark like a cavern. It was dark like a tomb. And the red in the distance, it was a devious light. It wouldn't creep out the sewers in the dark of the night. And hundreds of people made their way here. They met every Tuesday. They hid out of fear. None of them lived there. It was an arrangement that they made. It kept a low profile and it kept the place safe. And guns were there. And food was there. And clothing and music and movies were there. And people were there. And they weren't at work. And they were happy to be there in the dark and the dirt. She set up shop in the old arcade and she sold things that people hadn't seen in a decade. She had pineapple. She had vegetable oil. She had packets of ramen that people could boil. And people were stunned. Some of them had never seen cans of tuna or cans of beans. And people were trading and they were bidding on things. They offered her gold and rubies and rings. But she had a plan. She knew it. She needed. It didn't matter how everyone there begged and pleaded. She traded for guns. She traded for ammo. She traded for warm clothing and military camo. And she traded for fuel. She had what she wanted. She felt no remorse. She didn't feel haunted. The market was closing. And she gathered her stuff. She had more than she bargained for. She had more than enough. And she walked through the tunnels to the end of the line and there in the darkness, she opened her wine, and with a toast to herself and a silent accord, she had more than anyone on earth could afford. She walked through the forest. She walked in silence. She discarded her thoughts. She discarded her violence. She knew that she wasn't going to suffer. 
she had already lost her sister and her friends and her father and mother. And Cynthia was mean, and Gerald was mean, and Nanny and Lisa and Cheryl were mean, but Edith she loved. But she broke her heart when she left her for the comfortable and safe old Target Mart. She walked on further, past an abandoned town. It was pitch dark now, as the moon had gone down. And the army was quiet, the police weren't there. There was no one to hate her. There was no one who cared. So she walked toward the mountain, and the sun woke up. And in the rosy fingers of morning, she refilled her cup. She drank once more, and she took a rest. There were some old roads there, but otherwise, nothing was left. She continued walking for about two more days, until she came to an abandoned or forgotten old cave, and nothing was there, and nothing was there, and nothing, and nothing, and nothing was there. But she was there. She was alive. But in just three years, she also died. shitty old brain that can't, can't quite put, keep it all in there. 
forgive me. <laughs> Wind, smile, feel, snow, hat, glove, shirt, shoe, ease, eye, move, flow, pink, green, red, blue, ocean, current, wave, sprite, coke, pepsi, rain, shower, mood, sun, day, night, grass, cloud, air, flower, valley, mountain, canyon, rock, light, fish, wheat, rice, green, boxer, finger, sock, sad, happy, sweet, nice, paper, soup, blizzard, couch, oven, flavor, dirt, decay, cat, dog, door, mouse, plate, napkin, bowl, tray, beer, wine, liquor, water, earth, sky, star, Cold, warm, hot, hotter, tan, brown, black, white, horse, bush, berry, shrub, bed, chair, car, club, chest, dick, back, rub, hurt, head, bad, blood, tarot, reiki, self, love, soft, boy, girl, stiff, below, behind, within, above, weed, camel, need, split, state, matter, house, home, march, April, May, June, sand, soil, soot, loam, acid, molly, gumbo, shrooms, tom, dick, Harry Jane, Apple Orange, Mango Peach, Trump, Bush, Clinton, same shore, boardwalk, summer beach, tablet phone, party crew, work, job, money, pay, cold, bug, sick, flu, trans, bi, cis, gay, morning, evening, in, out, dad, mom, summer, me, flush, famine, beast, drought, was, is, might be, fly, crash, swim, drown, dive, deep, shallow, swim, city, hamlet, village, town, Foot, ankle, knee, shit, run, pant, tag, cry, feet, shake, hello, leave, poor, live, dream, die, Adam, Eve, Martha, Steve, church, girl, boy, priest, Bible school, hair, waist, break, bread, make, yeast, puff, glue, eat, paste, marker, pencil, teacher, desk, pen, eraser, chalk, dust, jacket, tie, blouse, dress, pull, mildew, odor, must, hug, kiss, fake, fuck, Cherry crumb, cracker cheese, snack rug, finger toe, dirty thumb, push, pull, heave, tug, one, seven, three, four, bathroom sink, toilet book, ceiling roof, tile floor, corner hideout, blanket nook, heart, head, brain, thought, single, married, together, apart, sold, cash, buying bot, sweet, sour, bitter tart, candy card, table bench, chicken, beef, kale, pork, foot, meter, mile, inch, knife, spoon, chopstick, fork, tired, crazy, sorry, dumb, easy, different, stubborn, mean, I, boy, or what done saw look seeing seen. Thanks a lot. I'd like to bring Lucia and her cast out here one more time. Martin Casey and an absentia Autumn Bro. Thank you so much.